Welcome back. Today we're doing some baking and making a classic banana bread. This one is gluten, grain, dairy, and refined sugar free, but it's still moist and sweet and delicious. You're gonna get a much sweeter full banana flavor with overripe bananas. So if you see them getting a little too brown and soft, it's the perfect time to whip up this recipe. It's all mixed in the vibe blender, which makes everything easy and the batter can be used in a loaf pan or in muffin trays, which the kids will love. You can always add in chocolate chips, chopped nuts, berries, or dried fruits by simply folding them into the batter. It's pretty hard to mess this one up. So let's get started. Straight into the clear blender jug, we're adding three cups of whole almonds. Activating your almonds by soaking them in water overnight is always a good idea. Pulse the almonds four or five times until you get a fine nut meal. Then we'll add three to four ripe bananas depending on their size. Then we'll add four eggs, one tablespoon of honey, two teaspoons of vanilla, 90 mils of melted coconut oil or butter, three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda and a pinch of salt. Insert the tamper into the lid. We're going to use it to push the mixture down into the blades to help everything come together. Blend on nut mode for around 30 seconds or until it's looking nice and smooth. Pour the batter into a lined loaf tin or into a muffin tray if you're making banana muffins. I'm gonna take one banana, it doesn't have to be overripe. I'm gonna simply slice it lengthways and place it face up in the batter. The banana is gonna caramelize really nicely on top, so it's gonna taste great, look great, and be sure to impress even the harshest of critics. Put your bread into a preheated oven at 170 degrees Celsius for around 45 minutes or until baked through. It's delicious served warm, freshly baked from the oven, cold, or even retoasted for a quick breakfast. You can store your banana bread in a sealed container in the fridge for up to six days. There's no need to miss out on your favorite baked goods if you're gluten or dairy intolerant or just trying to reduce your refined sugar intake and eat more whole foods. This banana bread is definitely worth giving a try at home. So if you love it, leave us a comment below and subscribe for more healthy whole food recipes from the Lavelli Kitchen. And we'll see you for the next video.